Hey, Scruffy. Ready for dinner? Okay, that's more of a meow. So I have a fresh can of Meaty Pate Super Supper and kibble and three more slices of salami. <clears throat> so we're coming to the end. Get, get one more day tomorrow. Okay. Oh, didn't do anything. I haven't even kneeled yet. Wow, you're jumpy again. So I don't know what's going off scruffy. I'm not doing anything differently. Okay. Let's sit down. I'll wait for Scruffy to bump into me. So Scruffy's not running into me here. Yeah? Okay, that's better. I lifted my finger a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know what's up with Scruffy. You're acting weird. Even for you. It's like a regression. Ah, so, yeah, another hot day. It's actually very similar to yesterday, so. On the bright side is I don't think it was any hotter. <clears throat> and like yesterday, it didn't get as hot as they originally predicted. It was still hot. <clears throat> but, uh... I'm hoping the evening is reasonable enough that I can try to pull off a long run tonight after I feed Scruffy. <clears throat> so last night I went for my bike ride after I fed Scruffy and uh, <clears throat> yeah, the sun is setting earlier and I'm, I need to leave, I need to leave her, uh, later or earlier. Um, so yesterday I got back right at sunset, so so I could generally still see, but it was starting to get dark. <clears throat> uh, but the one advantage was is uh, yeah the weather was really cooling down around sunset. So since it didn't get as hot as they predicted yesterday, it made uh, the temperature around sunset manageable and a nice breeze actually picked up. So a lot of the end of that ride was actually enjoyable. It was uh, the cool air and yeah, really made a difference. The cool breeze. So I did my extended route, and I think I actually did the route a little faster than usual. So I think I was about five minutes ahead by the end of it, which is pretty good. Since it was uh, 
on the later side and you know, not as many people were out. And I was uh, biking in areas where uh, yeah, there weren't a lot of people around. I was expecting to see more deer, but I don't think I saw any yesterday. I saw, let's see, I saw a squirrel, that's about it. <clears throat> it was running across the parking lot. And it was really moving. It was uh, looked like a champion. I've seen some squirrels run and they look really chunky. Sort of like when Scruffy runs. Uh, but yeah, the one I saw yesterday is running across one of the parking lots and yeah, it looked like a Olympic athlete. And then see on the final like, final climb, it's uh, on my extended route. Uh, there were two groups of people that I actually yeah, there's a little more, but there were two I uh, noticed for I used for or I thought I was going to use them for just my time markers. So when I started the climb, there were two guys starting to walk up. And then further down, um, I passed two guys. I think they're coming up the other direction. <clears throat> so when I turned around to finally leave, I noticed there were two guys approaching. And they were only maybe a minute or two behind me. <clears throat> but since they were walking in that direction, I thought maybe they're the, the first two guys that I saw when I started climbing up, and I was really surprised that they were that close to me. I thought, you know, they would be much, much further back. So I was wondering, maybe it was the other two guys, but I think that means they'd have to uh, they would have had to reverse their direction. Which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So maybe I was going really slow. But as I said, time-wise, I thought I was doing okay. But then again, yeah, I'm always slow. <clears throat> um, so yeah, there was another... There's a couple other bikes that passed me on the way uh, earlier in the route, and let's see, yeah, one of them that was just it was he was just uh, sprinting. Yeah, he's or I don't know if he was sprinting, but yeah, he was just leaving me in the dust. So maybe that's the speed I'm supposed to go. And then there's another guy who passed me, also left me in the dust, but. I think he actually had an e-bike, because um, I think, yeah, there was a, it had a big, uh, I forgot what you call it, the underbar, you know, the, the, you know, the, the frame, so there was a very, very, very big bar, and I think that's where they put the battery or the motor or something, or part of it anyway. <clears throat> So, yeah, I'm not surprised electric bikes could pass me. <clears throat> and I'm actually not surprised the other bikes, regular bikes, pass me too, because I have like the heaviest, <laughs> oldest bike probably at the park. So I'm ri riding a, what is it, 30 year old bike? It's made in the 90s. So, by today's standards, it's. Uh, Extremely uh, heavy bike, and it doesn't have the gearing that modern bikes have. But it's a very sturdy bike, 
and they actually don't make them like that anymore. So nowadays they actually have uh, they've divided they've subdivided the category. So in the 90s that was considered a mountain bike, <clears throat> but now they've split mountain bike into like uh, it's really three three subgenres or um, descendants. So there's the gravel bike, which is the newest one. There's the road bike. And then there's something they still call a mountain bike, but it's not really like the ones they made in the 90s. So the mountain bike, the new mountain bike is, it's really designed for going off road and really steep hills. So it has usually shocks on, uh, shock absorbers on both the front and back wheel. Um, so you feel like nothing <clears throat> uh, going over like all sorts of crazy terrain. They can usually have big, thick, thicker tires. <clears throat> uh, yeah, really uh, big gear sets. <clears throat> uh, whereas the road bike, yeah, basically it has narrow, narrower wheels now. Um, they change the handlebars, so it's more like a old 10-speed racing bike. <clears throat> um, but they kept uh, some of the heavier-duty things from the the old mountain bike. So it has, I think, a, a, it's a slightly more sturdy bike than um, the the racing bikes. And it has more, I think, of the gearing options for non-flat trains. And then the gravel bike is kind of the going back back in a circle. So they've taken kind of the recombined the mountain bike, the modern mountain bike, and the the road bike and put it back together and it gets something a little similar to the old style mountain bike but they're a lot lighter I think uh, a lot of times they have they still have a shock on one of the uh, one of the wheels I think sometimes I don't know and they may or may not have the wide handlebars most of them I think have the the racing handlebars. Okay, let's get Scruffy's feed. Okay. <clears throat> so I think let's see did I see Scruffy this morning? I don't remember that yeah, as usual the camera wasn't on and I hate this thing, so no footage. Um uh, at lunch I didn't see Scruffy initially. I was looking for him in his uh corner near the plant again and he wasn't there. And then he was, I saw him behind the table, but I had to get around the edge of the table to see him. And he was sprawled out on his back, you know, hind legs up, belly up. So he looked comfortable. So my presence didn't uh, alarm him enough to flip over. So. so even though he acts terrified of me, I think he's actually pretty comfortable around me. Weird cat. 
So I went back inside and I thought maybe he'd come for the water, but yeah, he did not. So like the previous few days, I'm guessing that yeah, he just went to sleep and then an hour or two later, he probably got a drink of water. I didn't see him at the water bowl, but I wasn't checking all afternoon, so. Anyway, in terms of uh, bicycles, at one point, I, early in the pandemic, I was thinking, you know, I wouldn't mind having a new bicycle. Like, uh, yeah, the one I have is really old, so it's great for exercise, though, um, since it's so heavy, it forces you to work harder, which is, I guess, an advantage. <laughs> But sometimes I'd like to basically just, you know, get some, you know, speed and, you know, climb up some hills like, you know, like they were nothing, sort of like, yeah, the people who keep passing me act <clears throat> just once in a while. And then there's some actually really uh, difficult hills uh, or climbs uh, that I really can't do on this uh, bike. It's, it's too hard. I, I need much better gears and... My brakes actually aren't very good on this old bike either, so I can handle moderate descents, but like really steep descents, it's really hard to brake. Um, in a safe, controlled way, um, if if you're not if you're uh, cruising. Um, so generally with the really steep hills, I, I have to ride the brake the whole way and I'm actually squeezing pretty hard just so I don't pick up too much speed where I can't control the descent anymore. And uh, kind of hurts my hands after a while. Not that I go on these uh, steep uh, things that often, mostly because I can't even manage the climb most of the time because they're too steep to go up. Scruffy's even a piece of salami. Scruffy's even pretty fast tonight. I gave him his food a little late. He's getting faster at eating the salami. Unfortunately for him, he only gets one more night. So tomorrow's going to be the last night, I think. There's only two pieces left. I've been giving him three. I'm gonna move the ball this way. He's away. Yeah, he's almost done. There's like only a couple smears of pate. So anyway, my problem was, yeah, I wanted to be able to do better climbs, but I don't really, I don't really do any of the hardcore off-road mountain bike type stuff that people do now. And so getting like a real full-blown mountain bike would probably be like way overkill for me. And I'd like to get some speed on like regular ground because um, my route usually takes me on major roads, so, um, so I'll do hill climbs and stuff like that, but I'm also doing street riding, and the mountain bikes don't do so well on the, or don't do as well on the, you know, reg you know regular roads. They're des really designed for off-roading. So that's where a uh, road bike would be handy, but the road bikes, yeah, don't handle the the hilly terrain as well and so that's where gravel bikes come in 
And so I was looking at gravel bikes, but yeah, one thing I noticed was the majority of them don't have the uh, wide handlebars. They have the the racing style bars, and I don't like those. Probably because a lot of the hills I can't climb, um, they're challenging enough that I wouldn't trust myself with the uh, racing bars. I, you get you get a lot more control with the uh, wide handlebars. But all this was kind of rendered moot because after the pandemic uh, started, you know, there were shortages on everything, and uh, yeah. Just getting a bike was actually really difficult. Actually getting my uh, existing bike uh, repaired was actually really difficult. So I was trying to get a tune-up and some repairs done and um, every shop I contacted was booked completely out for months. Everyone took up bicycle riding when the lockdown started and then uh, bicycle shortages appeared. Not sure what it's like now. I should probably take a look again. Yeah, I think he ate all the slimy. Was eating the grease and the salami that I guess hit the deck, I think. The script's done. I'll let him drink his water and then I guess I'm gonna wrap it up. Okay, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Scruffy forgot a salami piece.